Epic Games just hosted their State of Unreal event, where they unveiled Unreal Engine 5's future. In this video, I'll go over all the major announcements. To begin the event, Unreal Engine 5.2 was revealed, and two major features have been added. That is, procedural content generation and substrate materials. Procedural content generation, or PCG for short, is a set of new nodes that allow the user to create their own tools to generate large open worlds and assets quickly. Essentially, an artist is able to define a set of rules on how an asset should be generated, for example, how many trees should be created, or the location to spawn rocks and grass. Unreal will then follow these rules, which makes the process of creating environments faster. To show off the power of PCG, Epic created this environment, which is almost entirely created using procedural tools with very little hand placed assets. And because of the way this graph was set up, with a couple of clicks, an artist can drastically change the way the world looks. They also showed off Substrate, Epic's brand new material system. It makes it easy to blend different materials together or create materials with multiple layers. For example, in this demo, they showed off Substrate being used to render Opal on this car, a material that was very difficult to render before Substrate. Also, if you have ever tried to render different types of glass in Unreal, you know it is very hard to get accurate looking glass. Now, Glass just works with Substrate, which will make material creation a lot easier. These are just some of the new features of 5.2. If you want to learn more, I will post a separate video soon going over all the major features of Unreal Engine 5.2 in depth, so stay tuned for that. The next major announcement was MetaHuman Animator. If you don't know, MetaHuman is Unreal Engine's framework, which allows you to create realistic humans for games and movies within minutes. Before MetaHumans, creating a realistic person took hundreds of hours. Now you can create a human in your browser, import it into Unreal Engine, and then you are ready to go. It is that easy, but there is one big problem and that is animation. If you have animated a character before, you know that facial animations are some of the hardest to make. If you look at this rig, you can see that there are dozens of buttons and sliders that all control different parts of the face. For example, this controls whether or not she's opening her mouth and this widget right here controls her eyes. To create animation, we have to keyframe all of these controls, which is obviously very time consuming. MetaHuman Animator fixes this by allowing you to capture facial movement from your phone. Unreal Engine then takes video and depth data from your phone and creates a 3D replica of your face, which it will map your facial movements onto. The video is then processed and automatically turned into animation that can be used with any MetaHuman. It can even be used with stylized characters. Beforehand, technology like this was only available to studios that can't afford expensive hardware and cameras. Now anyone can get high quality facial capture with just an iPhone. MetaHuman Animator will release in a couple of months. Next up is Verse, which is a brand new programming language designed for Unreal Engine. If you ever used Unreal Engine before, then you know that there are two ways you program, either with Blueprints, which is Unreal Engine's visual scripting language, or C++. The biggest issue was that if you wanted to code a game and you don't prefer Blueprints, C++ was your only option. And if you ever use C++ in Unreal, you know that it is pretty complicated and slow since you have to recompile the engine every time you make a change. Verse is a nice middle ground between Blueprints and C++. It is not as complicated and it is a lot faster to use. All you have to do is click on the Verse button which will open up Visual Studio Code and you're ready to start programming. Verse will release for Unreal later in the year and you can expect Verse tutorials on this channel when it does. Also, Verse can be used outside of Unreal Engine. It is its own programming language, just like JavaScript or Python. So we could see Verse being used in other game engines or for web applications in the future. Epic Games also announced Fab, which is a massive marketplace for 3D assets that anyone can publish. Over the past four years, Epic Games has acquired Megascans, a library of scanned objects, Sketchfab, a service where people can view and sell 3D objects, and ArtStation, which has one of the largest marketplaces for digital creators. Now Epic is combining all of them and the Unreal Marketplace into a single platform called Fab. Now if you want a specific object, you don't have to search five different websites. All you have to do is open up Fab with an Unreal Engine, look up the asset that you want. In my case, it will be a wooden barrel and find an asset that you like and then simply drag it into your environment. 
Unreal will automatically download that object and place it in your environment. And here we have our 3D asset ready to be used in our game. It is that easy now to download and use 3D assets. When browsing asset packs, you can now see all the individual objects that are included in the pack. You can even preview assets in 3D before downloading them. And as a reminder, a large portion of fab assets are free from the Megascans library. And my favorite feature is the ability to create your own library of assets. So if you have a model you constantly use, you can add it to your library and use it in any Unreal project without the hassle of having to migrate it. Interestingly, Fab is not just for Unreal. It is planned to support other game engines like Unity, Roblox, and even Minecraft. It has everything you need to build your worlds in one place. Fab is launching later in the year. And finally, the biggest announcement of the event is the release of Unreal Editor for Fortnite, or UEFN for short. This allows people to use Unreal Engine to modify Fortnite and create their own maps and even create new games. This will bring an entire new generation of game developers into the world of Unreal Engine. So far, games like Call of Duty, Adventure Games, and even the original Fortnite map have been remade using UEFN. This is the start of Fortnite's transition from a battle royale game to a creator economy like Roblox, where the majority of players are playing user-created content. Epic believes in this vision so much that they are sharing 40% of Fortnite's revenue with creators. If your Fortnite game is popular and gets a lot of engagement, you will get part of Fortnite's revenue. Also, there will be no loot boxes and no gated content. Epic is clear that this new economy will not be paid to win. UEFN also has unique features, like the ability to create and edit maps while people are playing them live on PlayStation and Xbox. So you can playtest your game in real time without having to recompile your entire project. The possibilities for Fortnite are endless, which is why I created a brand new channel called Fortnite Sensei, where I will post tutorials on how to create your own games using Unreal Engine for Fortnite. There's a link to this new channel in the description below, so subscribe if you're interested. And finally, to end the keynote, the CEO of Epic Games, Tim Sweeney, explained his vision for the metaverse. Everything announced, from UEFN to the programming language verse, all leads to an open metaverse. He envisions a metaverse that isn't a walled garden controlled by one company, but is a set of open standards like the internet, with multiple companies and creators contributing to it. There's a link in the description to his full talk. I recommend everyone to watch his speech because that is the direction Unreal is heading and it's pretty amazing. This is an exciting time for Unreal Engine. There's no better time to learn Unreal than now. Luckily for you, I have an entire free course here on YouTube. Check it out in the description below. And to stay up to date in the world of Unreal, make sure to subscribe.